Ready. All right, you're clear in three, two. All right, everyone. This is how you make a double decker PB and J sandwich. You start with three slices of bread. You have slice A, slice B, and slice C. Slice A is peanut butter. You use a little bit less than you would on a regular sandwich because you're going to have two layers. I always try to coat the entire surface of the bread in a good thick layer of peanut butter because it is my favorite ingredient of the sandwich. Okay, so there's slice A. Slice A is done. So now side A of slice B is jelly. I prefer strawberry. I also try to avoid the chunks because if you've ever bitten into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it, you know, it ha you pull your mouth away and there's one of those friggin' like gigantic chunks, it can sometimes be a little unappetizing. So now we have side A of slice B goes onto slice A. So now you have your basic sandwich. Now to make it double decker, we again apply peanut butter first. So you grab your existing sandwich and then apply peanut butter. You will notice that the slice of bread shifts around a little bit on the bed of peanut butter and jelly beneath it. Don't worry about it, it won't fall off if you're careful. So now it's nice and covered. You put it down, you line up the pieces of bread again just in case. And now the last si uh, slice C is again a jelly slice. And the best part is, if you notice you put too much peanut butter on, you can always compensate with this last slice of jelly. And then, there you have it, an incredible edible double-decker peanut butter jelly sandwich.